His heart is here, though. Never sold his house in Logan. Kept it. His three sons graduated from school here. And just got his house renovated, as a matter of fact. Here's a big play to start off the game. Savon Scarver going the other way. And all of a sudden, a big spark to start the night for the Aggies. It's just old middle return, Mike. That's all it is. You get the ball, and you just go right up the middle. You find an alley. You find a crease. And you do not let the kicker bring you down. And Scarver, one of the best in the country. There's the deep ball. That's the strength. But it's right into the hands of the defense. Intercepted and taken away by Shaq Bond. The former junior college baseball center fielder is wrangled down at the 40-yard line. And that's where the play comes to an end. There is a flag late after Aaron Frost made a violent tackle. First down and 10 inside the 15-yard line. Love looks across the middle. The pass is complete to Caleb Rep for the Aggies touchdown. Utah hauls in the game's first offensive touchdown. Well, one of the things I was impressed with all week, Mike, and I talked about it with you, was the way that Jordan, a great experience here in Logan, Utah. Kyle Adams was the injured player there for Nevada before the timeout. Gerald Bright is off to the races. And nobody's going to get the senior from Pensacola. He scrambles 67 yards to put an exclamation point on a huge night for the Aggies. You just got to keep keep going at it, keep getting at it, keep getting at it, and hopefully get pop one. And Gerald Bright does that. Gets to the outside, Logan, Utah, because of throws like that from Jordan Love. 48 yards, Love to Mariner. And Gerald Bright is in for the touchdown. From nine yards out. On this one. And it was all set up from the throw by Jordan Love. And right here, Fresno State was a winner against UNLV. Here's a handoff and a dive toward the goal line and a touchdown for Nevada. Toa Tawa is the Wolfpack, their first end zone visit of the night. Nice little draw play, 5'9", 210. Tawa, and I'm telling you, they accomplished what they wanted to, right? They, they got the win. They move on, hope they stay healthy. But like you mentioned, Mike, the games just keep getting bigger next week at Air Force.